How's it going, everyone? It's your Gleeful Gamer here. I am in round two of the 2023 Risk Tournament. All right, what do we got here? Any good spots for a cap? I don't have... Oh, I do have this one here. This is a good portal cap. I think I slapped my cap right there. Oh, Jesus. Oh, boy. Okay, well... Somebody just dropped a screenshot in the thing. That's okay. Here we go. We've got red somewhere. Putting troops places. What do we got? We've got... So, going through people. Oh, I can't see myself. Currently ranked a master. Got to a grandmaster for a hot sec and then dropped back down. White is DB. They are a grandmaster, so they're going to beat the poop out of me. Orange is a beginner. Blue is a Grandmaster. They're also going to beat the poop out of me. Red is an expert. And green is an expert. So pretty solid game we've got here. And I just hope that I'm not the big fat loser. Because I think as long as I pull a decent outing, I uh, then I will... Uh, I think as long as I do a decent outing, then I will advance to the next round. Alright, my turn. Yeah, I think this is my best cap. I mean, this is a good spot, obviously. Um, but... I really like being on a portal. Mmm, that's tough. See, this would be a good portal cap. Oh, see, is this? there's no portals behind here. So do I go with this? Then I'm not as open. I don't know if a portal cap is worth it in this scenario. Yeah, I think a portal cap is worth it. Let's go with it. I think having a portal cap is... is better than having this cap, even though that's a pretty strong one from what I've noticed. Alright, so my cap is on Denmark. And we will just wait to see where everyone else drops theirs. This will be interesting. This will be interesting. Alright. It's the boring little start of the game, but the tension is building. Yeah, so I have 21 points from the first round, and I'm thinking if I can get to like 25. Yeah, I should have put it here, right? I could have <clears throat> cleared out all of that. That's okay. Um, where else do we have caps? I don't see anyone else's cap, so I'm going to be the only one, I think with a portal cap. Green seems to have spread their troops around. Not sure if that's a good move or not. We will find out. See, the thing is, you can have a strategy and you can have a plan, but really it all just depends on how other people play it. But I think a good move for me might be to... Yeah, so we're gonna... Yeah, we put our cap here, for sure. Put our cap there. Nice strong one. I don't even think I have to add to it. I think first turn I add here, hit, hit, hit. Or I add here, hit, 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 and then guard there. And we'll see. Then at least I have a route to... Alright, so I don't see any... Okay, I see green's cap there. That's it. Okay. So I'm going to add... Six, five, four, three. I'll add them all here. Yeah. Okay. We end attack, and we'll sit that three right there. And then next turn, the plan would be hit here, attach it to my cap. Um... 
yeah, this is just, I, I don't really know. I didn't need to do that. I don't know why I did. I can get broken pretty easy, um, but we'll see. We'll see what makes sense. We'll see how it makes sense to play. So green's got their cap down here in, uh, in what is it, Gaziantep, which is in the Orient bonus. I suppose. Okay, and yeah, I just, I don't see anyone else. Blue gets seven troops. Where do they put them? So white didn't break me, so we'll find out if red wants to break me. My feeling is probably not, right? Although he is, this guy's a grandmaster. Oh no, he's an expert, so I don't know. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. Let's find out. This is a big moment here. Big moment, does red break me? Yeah, he does, right? He's gonna add it here, he's gonna break me. Right? Right? You hit London, or whatever this is? Yeah, London. No, he doesn't, he goes down. Oh, if he takes this continent and we can have friendly borders, that's perfect. Yeah, leave it there, don't break me. Nice. Nice, we're bros. You get a plus four, I get a plus five. Perfect, I won't mess with you all game, dude. I will not mess with you all game. No, nope, we're good. Red and I are good. We can be besties there. We can be absolute besties. I will never add anything to this border. All I'm going to do next turn is take a hit here. And put most of my material on cap. Alright. I like that a lot. Bonuses aren't super critical I don't think but um, they are gonna matter here in the early game a little bit lose it and then I get an extra troop nah they win okay they win they walk that all the way back but it doesn't actually buy them anything uh, we can let let me do this we'll do like we're just gonna do this hit once. Yep. End attack. End turn. Now we've got a two point guard on this. But what we're really looking at is as long as red doesn't militarize, we're happy here. So white getting nine troops. So white's got a bonus as well. Where is white? In here somewhere? Probably in here somewhere. That's my suspicion. They could also be... Okay, yeah, they're here. So they take that. White's trying to take this bonus. So white probably holds this. Because they got nine troops. It's a plus four. Yeah. And now they probably hold a good chunk of that. Orange just got eight. So orange has a bonus as well. Maybe North Africa? That's crazy. Yeah, whoever... Like, if you have that position or this one, you cap there. And you seal this all off. But then if somebody else caps there, then you're trapped. These blizzards are mad right now. These blizzards on this map are wild, just based on like the nooks and crannies that they make. Like this whole, look, you can guard here, you guard here and here, and you can hold this whole pocket, which I guess that's only a plus 13, but yeah, I mean, that's plenty. All right, so blue gets plus 10, blue hits some white. Okay, blue now sees green's cap. I think blue is probably down here. Right, so white is probably in Central Europe. Blue is probably based out of here. Red's probably got a cap right here, maybe? Um, yeah, and not adding anything to my border, so that's glorious. I love that. So now what I do, I'll add a couple here, and I'll add here. I'll hook around. I'll take this bonus. Red's got a big stack. Yeah, so red is somewhere here with a big, big stack. How many troops did they get? Nine. So I still should get, I should get 11 troops this turn, right? And then if I take that bonus, that's another plus three. So that should help. What did green just get? Six. So green is kind of a have-not in this game. Green might go out first. It might become profitable to kill green real quick. We'll see, though. I don't think I rush it. 
I don't think I rush it. Yeah, I don't need to rush it. Yeah, green is kind of all over the place. If they can get killed first, I will be satisfied with that. I'll have no issue with that at all. Okay, okay, okay. It's almost my turn again. <sighs> okay. Oh, I'm so anxious. The nerves are crazy. The nerves are crazy. Oh. Ooh, nobody's got this area. I don't want to bother getting it. I don't want to make myself discontinuous, you know? Let's do this. Hit, 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 hit. And attack. We'll move this back here, but we're going to leave like... We'll leave eight. We'll see how that works. I don't think green assaults this border because I don't think green has enough umfa to get at it. So the only chance of breaking me here is red. Do I have cards? I have a joker, so I have cards on three if I'm desperate. I would rather not use them, but because I'm in the first position, I can, <clears throat> and it doesn't actually hurt me. The only other thing is we could sit here and we could see um we could see green trade early potentially if they're really on the ropes and that's kind of something worth seeing if that happens right so okay i gotta go check out what did so white got only five troops and orange got eight so white got broken probably by blue orange getting eight where are they where is orange orange no orange isn't Oh, orange hits that. Okay. Orange hits that. Don't hit me, though. Don't hit my one. Yeah, don't hit my one and we're good. Maybe... Hmm. I'm having a hard time figuring out where orange is to be able to have a bonus there. Because they're not here. They're not here. They must have gotten this from white after last turn. What did blue just get? Only five troops. Everybody's hammering each other. Everybody is absolutely hammering each other. This is great. If I, if I can extend this to here, then I have a... <clears throat> yeah, so blue sees that. Blue sees that, and they walk away. Right? Yeah. I'm hitting through that three. Sorry, dude, but I'm hitting through it. Because this is a one-point guard on this, and uh, and it's a portal. So I really like that. What did red get? Ten troops. So red is pretty good. Red and I are happy together. Red and I can play nice most of this game. If I go one and two with red, I'm happy. They're probably happy, right? They're going to scoop out this bonus. Red is going to get pretty big pretty fast. They don't do the split quite optimally there. Okay, green getting five troops. Yeah, I'm in good shape. I just need to not screw this up. Next turn, I should get a lot of troops. A lot of troops. Yeah. Okay. I think maybe I hit through both of these. I'm not sure. Let's see how many troops I get. Let's see how many troops I get here. Yeah, red, see, this is a nice threat stack. Red doesn't want to break me, because I can just pop-pop them and break some of their bonuses. Green attacking a lot for somebody who's not getting a lot of troops. I think they're spread thin right now. Nice. 30 stack there, 15 stack there. And I think I just go here. And that's a one point on all of this, right? Perfect. Perfect. So I'm in really good shape with that. The only border, you know, this would effectively be a three point guard, but right now treating it as a two because red and I are friendly here. But we'll see what orange decides to do with me. Orange might break me because they see that I'm big, right? And that that's a fair thing for them to do. 
because I just got 15 troops. Everybody else is getting five or so. I'm not super worried. Um, if they're going to break me, I'd rather them just hit the one. I don't lose that many troops. Okay, I don't have a set without the Joker. I'll wait till five cards, of course, being progressive. Yeah, so orange breaks me, right? Yep, orange breaks me. Okay. That's fine, bud. You can do that. Oh, orange breaks everyone. Yeah, orange wants to be the bad neighbor. Okay, so that's how orange is going to play it. Good to know. That's fine. I will just hit this three and defend that border now. Because I think it's still worthwhile, right? I mean, at least they didn't break everything, but I think it's still worthwhile. That plus three is it's still pulling in troops. And it's really not... It's just, at this point, it's just a free card, right? I leave that 11. Blue got what? Blue gets nine troops. I'm going to get well, five, seven plus two plus three. Seven plus two plus three is 12. I should get 12 this turn. So still generating the most. Red gets six. Yeah, red's going to be mad at orange, right? Red's going to be mad at orange. I'm mad at orange too, but you know what? I don't go revenge on orange, I don't think. I think if I play this cool, I just get big enough that it's not really an issue. Yeah, red takes back their stuff. And I'm not the one who broke red, so red and I still have goodwill. That's the important thing. Red and I still have goodwill. Orange and red might be at war. Everybody seems to be hitting other people except for me. I'm in a happy spot. I get 12 troops. We'll add maybe one here. Yeah, maybe maybe just a, maybe just like five here and the rest here. Just enough to be a deterrent. Okay, green getting six. So green holding maybe enough territories to get that sixth troop, I guess. Probably not a bonus. If they had a bonus, that would mean they lost their cap already. I don't think they did. Okay, just takes a card and passes. Okay. Hit that. That's it. Just do that. Just do that. And... I have to use my Joker to have a set on five. Bummer, but it is what it is. Okay, how many did white get? 18, okay, white is big. White is big, who do they hit? Not me. Green? White doesn't hit me. I never hit this territory. I will not hit that territory because it closes off my cap because this is the only thing that connects to Denmark. Orange got eight. Yeah, so does orange go bad neighbor on white now? Hopefully. Right? Hopefully they do. I think white has this bonus. I don't want to break that. I don't. I don't want to break that bonus. I'll trade with white here. Even though that's a crazy bonus. They got what? They got 18. I should be getting 15. I'm okay keeping 15 and letting somebody else do the breaking of white. I'll play nice with them all game. Yeah. I don't know if this is the last of green. Part of me suspects it is, but I don't know if I feel good about it good enough about it to risk it. Okay, red's got this whole area. <clears throat> yeah, red's got this whole area. So I don't want to overextend right now. So I'm not going to go for any kills because the sets are still low. I don't want to spend troops. I don't want to overextend. I just kind of want to hold my little corner of the board. And if I lose it, I lose it. And that's okay. So I've still got a strong cap. That's the key here is I want to keep my cap strong. So I think I put, maybe I bring this up to like 11. 
Keep these both at 11. Put everything else on cap. Okay, red hits, uh, red hits there. So maybe I don't add to this. I don't want to scare red, right? I don't want to threaten red with that. Right, you can pull that all back. I'm not going to pull mine back because mine's still threatened by somebody who wants to break. Green's still getting six troops per turn. This game is starting to get a bit, potentially a bit stale, maybe. We got to get some action. Being round two and people are kind of, people are kind of relying on, uh, maybe I just chip away at green instead of white. Just slowly chip at green. Get their troop count down. Lower and lower and lower. Yeah, but I'm going to have to leave this path open all the time. Always leave that open. Always got to leave that open. Okay, green thinking really hard about what to do. I'm thinking hard too, man. Oh, I just don't want to choke, you know? I don't want to go for something, overextend, and choke. I'd rather sit happy here. Okay, so I got a trade. So, yeah, that's fine. Have to do it. So what we'll do here is add four. Add the rest to my cap. And this allows me to see a little bit of something. Okay. So we just do that. We just take a card. How much? Yeah, white's still getting 18. So that means white probably has this. And this, maybe? They trade for six. We'll see where they put that. So nobody bro nobody's breaking anybody. Everybody's just taking cards right now. Do I have a set? I have no set on three. Okay. So just gotta play it cool here. They add to that portal. Where do they send it? They just take a chip on green. Okay. They just take a chip on green. Maybe white only has this bonus, right? Plus eight, plus the two from a capital is ten. And then nah, they would have to have twenty-four territories for that to be the case. So that's not it. So they must have uh this bonus probably too. Orange got eight troops. Hmm. Hmm. I want to keep this line to this portal open too. Yeah. Just trying to keep lines open to things. Eventually. Alright, so orange breaks red. But I can't break me now. So that's good for me. Okay, orange going after blue. I don't know. I mean, blue doesn't have this continent, right? They can't. Yeah, blue gets nine troops. So blue's somewhere. Blue's got probably this guy. Ten from a trade. Where do they send it? Orange is being the breaker. Um, nobody else really is doing any breaking. Red gets a lot of troops every turn. So red and white slightly outpacing me. Because what do I get? I get uh, 15. Uh, yeah, 15. So they're getting a few more than me. I'm not going to cry about that, right? To me, that three troops per turn is not significant enough to make me do something rash. Yes, eventually it means they'll outpace me, but I kind of want to have a look-see over here is the problem. Kinda wanna have a look, see see what's up. I think green's barely got anything left. I think green really barely has anything left. Is red card skip there? No, they didn't card skip, did they? I just didn't see them attack. Yeah, they didn't card skip, okay. Green got what? Five troops. So green is down to not so many territories. Their capital was here, so if I hit this and then hit Lebanon, I get to see how much they have on it. Yeah. <clears throat> and then I still have a road to it this way. 
they just set for 15, so they're actually not going to be in such bad shape. It's a question of where do they put that. Yeah. Do they, do they just knuckle down and hide in a corner and make sure they don't die? Or do they uh, hit some people? Looks like they're hitting. Yeah, they're hitting. I think they're probably going to try to take this bonus. Green's going to take that bonus. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just going to add four here. Add the rest here. And attack. Sixty six cap in great shape here. No set on four. That's fine. Nobody's going to kill me. They might break my bonuses, but nobody's going to kill me. What is white getting now? 18 a turn still. So we seem to have stabilized, right? We seem to have stabilized. We'll see what white does here. Yeah, it just takes a card. Yep. We can trade there all night long. All night long. Yeah, we'll see what what uh what orange does here. I have a feeling orange wants to break somebody. I think red is accepted. Like, okay, I don't get this bonus. Orange is gonna keep breaking it. So they just said, I'll stick with with these two. But still, 18 a turn. How are they? Yeah, I guess plus 10. A plus 10, plus 2 for the cab, and then 7, no, and then 6 for troop count. Makes sense, yeah. So that's what red's got right now. Okay. Hmm. What's the best way to play this? Ah, oh, I want to go for the kill on green. But I'm only going to get the... Uh, 20 set, unless somebody... Yeah, okay, red sets in. Red gets 18 troops and sets. What do they do with that? Go after green or go after orange? They might be going after orange, because orange has been bugging them all game. And it gets them four cards. They're sure aren't going after me, and I'm good with that. What if they feed orange? <sighs> That'd be great. That'd be great. Oh, they got... Oh, they didn't get it. Now they got it. No, they didn't get it. Where is the rest of orange? Oh, no. Where is the rest of orange? Oh, no. If they even don't get it. They're searching. They're searching so hard. I think it's behind this... Ah, who took me out of here? Was it orange or white? Red is searching for orange. Oh, no. They didn't get it. Do they feed it to green? Do they feed it to green? I feel like, oh, I wish I could remember who took me out of there. Oh. Where is orange? Oh, 
Oh, where the heck are they? I just wasted a bunch of troops doing that. I mean, at least I took out other people's troops too, but... Thought I would have had them. Yeah, I mean, at least... Uh, at least white lost their bonuses, right? Yeah, so white lost their bonuses and they just reconstitute. Bummer, dude. What the heck? Alright, I have a set. Nobody's gonna kill me here, right? Nobody's strong enough to kill me. So I don't think I have to fear, really. Where is Orange? Where are they gonna come flying out of? If they're tucked right here, I'm gonna be so mad. Where are they? Where the heck are you, Orange? They card skip? They card skip. Orange card skips. Where are they? Oh my gosh. Somebody kills Orange, right? Somebody knows where they are. Alright. Kaya gets sixth. Bounty goes to Martin. All right. Martin was, if Mar, if if uh, if Orange was even right there, gosh, man, that was wild. Red didn't get anything broken, right? Thirty troops. Oh, jeez. What the heck, man? Red starts with 30 troops. Wowie, kazowie. Alright. We'll see what green does. If green doesn't set, I gotta go for the kill on green. Yeah. I think that's the... I think that's the play if green doesn't set. Although red's probably thinking about how to make that happen. I get the 35... That's not even a that's not even a good roll. That's not even a good roll. That's a risky roll. Let's see what happens here. Red goes for green maybe. They open me to that portal at least. I like that. Oh, they don't actually open me though. All right. Where does green add? Probably right on their cap, right? Did green Bot. Green's just thinking. Green's like, shoot, I'm screwed. All right? Take off this. Take off this green. And then I'm open to your cap with my cap. Green adds there. Okay. Where do they hit? They hit down. They want to reconstitute. Okay. They hit one more time. Hit one more time! Yes! Perfect! Now I'm open to their cap, and that's the rest that's the rest of green. Yeah. For five cards, I go for it. Absolutely. Hopefully this is the last of them. Perfect. Perfect. Wonderful. And yeah, I get a, a trade. Um, perfect. Do I keep both caps? Maybe. Let's see if I can do this. And attack. Put it back there. Great. <sighs> Who was that? I just killed green. Appalling fifth. Bounty to hockey hog. Cool. So I just secured myself at least fourth with a bounty. Oh, white spends some troops to take that, huh? All right. All right, then. White spends some troops to take that.
respect. Okay. Got to do what you got to do, right? Blue gets 50 troops. Blue hits. Does blue hit the cap? Hit it. Come on. Hit it. Oh, they don't. All right. Do they gear up to hit it next turn? I don't know. I think red wins this game. But I just got six points. We'll see. I get nine points minimum from this game now. So that's, that's pretty solid. Pretty solid. I'll take that. Who's got the most cards? White has three cards. <clears throat> I think I just take a card and pass. Maybe I finish this bonus. See what people do about it. I think I finish the Russia bonus and see what people do about it. Although Red wants to trade there, huh? Yeah, Red wants to trade there. Let me just play it cool. Alright, a hundred. Let's just hit, 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 hit. Stack it all on cap. We'll see what somebody wants to do about it. White gets 21 per turn. I got how many that turn? 17. Yeah, and then adding Russia to that would be 24, plus some extra territory. Okay. This will be interesting. Yeah, white sets in. White's going to take this bonus. It's going to take this bonus. They're sitting there with a 72 cap. Haven't seen red's cap yet, but it's got to be somewhere around here. I think they probably break my Russia. Right? Maybe not. They don't. White lets me have it. Awesome. White and I are pals. I think blue is out next. I think blue goes out next. It's just a matter of how I get to blue. Blue's tucked in this corner. Yeah. Okay, red's got a lot. Red getting 29 troops. That's a lot, everybody. That's a lot of troops. Okay, let's see what they do about it. They're gonna need to take a card. Where do they take a card? Not off me. Not off me. I think red's too big to eat. Yeah. I think red is too big to eat right now. Ah, shoot. I gotta break somebody, huh? Well, because I want to keep that cap open. I want to keep that cap open. Ah, uh, that's tough. Because white's cap blocks me from getting to... Oh, no, I can go via that way. Okay. Okay, as long as there's a way. Right, attack. And attack. Move it back to cap. Alright, we're all good. Woo, that was like stressful to think about. Yeah, I'm still open. I can go this way. Alright, so I get 24 troops. White gets 18. Red gets 29 or something like that. Yeah, it's a lot for red. It's a lot for red. It's a lot for red. Yeah, maybe, maybe I take this bonus, see if people let me hold it. <laughs> Greedy. But they might. They might, because I'm sitting there with a 147 cap, and I could break any of their bonuses. All right, blue's getting whittled down, only starts with 10 troops. Blue only starts with 10 troops. They're going to be sitting on three cards. Is that enough to go for the kill on them? Uh, not in the roundabout way that I have to get it, right? Not in this roundabout way. Yeah. How the heck do I manage this? Where does Red put all those troops? 
I could see this game stalemating here. Blue probably gets fourth. Yeah, blue probably gets fourth, but I could see um, I could see this game stalemating. All right, don't have cards on four. Lovely. Lovely. So hopefully blue doesn't have cards on three, and then I can go for them. You don't have to leave the three there. Thanks, bro. We're good. We're good. Yeah. Red and I are happy trading. He is outpacing me, so he's happy, right? Because he's getting 29 troops. White now getting 22, and I'm getting 24. White probably throws some more troops into blue. Right? I don't think they attack me or red. I think white is thinking, hey, it's in my best interest to get third. We can all whittle down on blue in that manner. Nice. Okay. They must have hit blue a little bit. Blue getting 14 troops. Maybe they didn't. Blue's got something, right? Blue's probably got this and this right white might be letting hold them hold both of those but they now they have ooh, they have four cards do i go for it i think i take a peek right red takes card off me here perfect opens up my cap i take a walk let's see <clears throat> let's see yeah perfect let's take a walk I'm going for it. All right. So I got the blue kill and four cards. Now I set. Now I slam it into white. I think I slam it into everybody. Let's do that. Let's see what happens here. All right, blue, Martin, fourth, bounty to hockey hog two. All right, yeah, hits me a little bit, right? I should take that cap, why not? It's a free cap. Yeah, I'm glad I went for that kill, right? Because now I'm third, which is eight points and two bounties, so. That's pretty solid there. I've got a set next turn. Yeah, white retakes. White root breaks me. Smart. White wants Russia eventually. We'll see where this settles out, right? We'll see where this settles out. Red gets nine troops. Okay. Red hops around a bit to reconstitute their bonuses. Interesting. I have a set. Do I go for white? Can I kill white? I don't think I can kill white. Not yet, anyway. But I have a set. Might as well use it. Because I'm pretty fragile here. Let's do that. And let's do this. And we'll go... We'll 
end attack there. We're just going to keep breaking these guys, try to progress the game. That's the idea here. The idea is progress the game. White gets to keep two of those. So he's probably pretty happy. Yeah, he probably comes back and breaks me, although he can't with that positioning now. Retake, so maybe I just focus on red now. Red seems to be going a little weaker than white. So maybe I focus on red here. Yeah, I think I focus on red. I don't think they have a cap back here. Maybe I hit them a bit. They're going to retake. Red's going to retake. Yeah, this is going to be good. I think this is going to be good. I think I hit red a bit here. Dude, I'm just trying to progress the game. So give me a break. All right. 6v2 is 100%, right? And attack, fortify back up on cap. Red's not going to be happy. Red might just smash me. White sees that I didn't attack them at all. White sees that I just pounded into red. So do they go after red, recognizing that red is the weak link? I will happily feed red's kill to white. White is a grandmaster. He knows what's up. I think he sees that I'm saying, hey, bro, let's go one and two, right? Yeah, he's not adding enough to take that cap, but he's adding enough so I can't take it. Let's see, maybe he'll break me. I don't think he does, though. Oh, he does. Now he just, he, he's just going to let me and, uh, me and Red pound each other a bit, right? He's going to watch Red run around and, and beat me up now that Red's got a set. But I have a retaliation set, right? Yeah, perfect. I have a retaliation set, and if, so he breaks that, he's going to run around, probably fortify on his cap, right, too slow, red's slow, red is slow, good, that's good for me, okay, he wins the 2v1, Keeps attacking, but he's not going to open his portals, right? He's not going to open his portals. Yeah, he is. Okay. Yeah, do it. Hit it. Break me now, right? Yeah. And don't fortify in time, leaving me the opportunity to hit your stack. Perfect. Perfect. This is great, right? Because this allows me to do this. Ready? Six. Don't uh, take this personally, Red. I'm not targeting you so much as I'm trying to progress the game here. And, uh, and white is strong, and I am strong, so rather than fight white, I can fight you um, and give myself a shot at second. Um, that's kind of the way I'm thinking about this. And you can tell me I'm wrong, and we'll see what white does here if they, yeah, white going after red. Sees their cap, walks back, or just does that to open their cap, right? Does that so that red's cap is open. 
and then sees if red hits into me. So let's find out. Yeah, red's going to hit a little bit. Not retake anything. They do retake this, yeah. Do they get the roll? No, they don't. All right. Red now sitting on four cards. Yeah. Just gonna do it the traditional way. Okay. Good to know. 240 stack. All right. Red's plenty big. <laughs> Red is plenty big. So this is gonna take basically white choosing who goes. And I think they, oh, are they gonna roll that? They're gonna take it, huh? Red could set here, roll my cap, and secure themselves second. And white would see all of it. I think that's the play, but they, uh, yeah, and they leave their, they make sure to leave their cap open. They keep attacking. They want to break another bonus, right? They want to break that one too. And they get it. Good, good job. Oh, don't close your cap back down, dude. Actually, do. Attack it. Good. Attack one more. One more. Ah, oh, they don't. All right, they leave it open. Well played. So let's do this. Put it all there. Let's see what white's choice is, right? White has a set. Do I have a set on three? I have a set on three, so if I survive, might be able to do something about it. I think if I survive, I go for the red kill. Because my cap's open to red. Yeah, my cap's open to red. I'd have to add a certain amount here to make sure I can clear this pocket out. Maybe like add 10 here. All right, so white takes that. They don't keep the kill guard, or they are keeping the kill guard. They just, uh, just take a card and pass. Yeah, white playing it real smooth. White playing it real smooth. Opens my cap to red's cap. Red sets in. They send it against me, right? No reason why they shouldn't. No reason why they shouldn't. Yep. No, they don't. Oh, now they do, right? Now they do. Bam. No. Oh my goodness. They want to hit everything else first. Interesting. Really interesting. Huh. Okay. I mean, they could still take it here. They could still take it. They can't kill me this turn, though. They didn't do it properly. They fortify that. I assume back to their cap. I trade now. Two eighty-two. Hit. Hit this. We'll do this. We'll clear out this pocket. And then we'll sit ourselves back on the cap. 
white will defeat us. I just don't want to sit here all night, which is why I'm what you might call it picking on red. I'm just making sure red doesn't grow as fast as orange or as fast as white so that white can uh, kill him. So red's got something like a 300 stack on their cap. It's not something that I can really do much about at this stage. Um, <clears throat> that's the problem. They set again. So what do they do? They roll my cap now? They add it there. They add it there. I think they might be going for the kill. I think they might go for the kill here. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, let's see. Let's see it. Let's see it. Ah, uh, they did the split wrong. That's okay. I'll just cost you a few troops. One more. Hit down. You have to split three off. Hit up. 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 Good. And then... Into the cap. Nope. Retake the bonus. Break my bonuses. Okay. Walking around in a circle. Run out of time. Keep attacking and run out of time before you have a chance to fortify. Hit one more time. Break it. Why don't you break it? Okay, that all goes back to cap. Fine. Fair enough. Hit. Hit. End attack. Sit on cap. <clears throat> yeah, this is where, like, having some form of communication would be nice because, um, then we could kind of progress the game a little bit more here, right? It'd be like, alright, white, I'm gonna slam into red's cap. You kill them first, then you kill me. Whatever, right? Because we all know white's going to win here. It's just a question of who comes in second, myself or red. Um, <clears throat> let's see, where are they going? What are they attacking? What are they attacking? There you go. All right. Hit the cap? Nope, they don't. They don't hit the cap. They could. You should just go for it, man. Should just go for it. Do that. You gonna break that ever? No, okay. That? You gonna hit my cap now? No, you can go that way. You're gonna hit that. Then you're gonna leave that there? No, you're gonna fortify it back. Okie doke, we're gonna play this game some more. How many did they get last turn? Nine troops. That's fine. That's fine. I can deal with them getting nine troops a turn. How many uh, do I get a turn? with this current back and forth. 13, yes, yeah, so I'm like slowly outpacing red, but really very, very slowly. All right. Red doesn't see that. <clears throat> red doesn't see that. So white has decided that I get third. Fair enough. They're the troop lead. That's their decision to make. Um. Do I wish they decided something different? Sure. Absolutely. But. Sometimes that's just the way the cookie crumbles. They wanted to hit me. They didn't want to hit red. That's how it goes. Red now sees, whoa, his cap's weak. But he doesn't mobilize enough to hit it. doesn't mobilize enough to hit it. So that's a bummer for red, because they missed an opportunity there. Alright, 
breaks that way. Okay. That's fine. He finally broke that way. Reduces my... Uh... We'll just keep playing this game. I think maybe white did that, right? So like maybe should have attacked slower because I think white probably, they are a grandmaster. They're very good at this game, I assume. White probably uh, figured, hey, this guy is more of a threat in the end game because he can attack faster. He knows he can out attack red, basically. Do I have a set? I do have a set. If I survive, I have a set. What are the sets at? 125? We'll see. It's a bummer white slammed into me. Otherwise, that set would have finished the job. I think they just hit my cap again, right? No, they don't. Okay. They'll probably break me, though. No, they just do that. They open red to me. Let's see what red does here. Do they recognize that they could get the kill? Red has a set. Yeah, red coming for me. Red coming for me. Well played. Yep. But they will not kill me. Is the problem for them. That's the bummer. Um, white will win. So my strategy of uh, tag teaming on red did not work because white did not want to oblige oh no don't tell me you're not gonna finish the job dude oh my gosh why didn't you do that why didn't you finish the job There, we'll do that. We'll do that. Now, white has me kill guarded. So do they go after red? I don't know. I That move might have just preserved me one placement up. Not sure. Not sure, but it was all I could do, right? It was all that I could do. White sees what's going on. They know red have a huge stack. So what red's going to do here is they're going to finish taking me out of this area. And white has to think about whether it makes sense for them to kill me for my, what will be two cards, right? Or go after red to prevent red from getting very large. And that's a tough call for them. I can't say I know what I would do in their situation. I mean, if they have a set, they add here, they can probably just get it, but then it wastes their whole... wastes their whole... Uh, wastes their whole turn. I don't know if they're... I guess they're adding there. They're going to stack there. They're going to get the kill on me for the two cards. I don't know. I feel like you go... Uh, I feel like the move is go aggressor on red, right? Yeah, they are. Okay, they're attacking red. Just a couple, though. Taking it really slow. Yeah, just a couple. So now red come searching. Hopefully red mobilized all of their troops to this cap. That's the that's the play to give yourself the most uh, ability to run and chase after people. But I don't know if they would have done that. So let's see. Yeah, and I mean, I'm just going to keep adding to... <laughs> it's funny, I get to hold a bonus. I get to hold the bonus till I'm dead. <laughs> Just because of how these silly blizzards are. Red attacking. Yeah, red's, red's attacking a fair amount. So red's going to punch white. Good. They're probably searching for me. But uh, nonetheless, they're going to punch white. And white's going to have to punch them back if they want to uh, want to win the game. 
Maybe red and I should have tagged on white. I mean, white gets a set now, so it'll be interesting. Do they put that set here and slam into me and get the kill for the two cards? Or do they go, ooh, that puts me in a bad spot, right? They are going to do that. They are going to do that. So they're going to spend about 500 troops to kill me, right? No, they're not. Okay, they're just making sure that I can't get them. But eventually, they're going to spend about, I don't know, probably at least 400, I would think. 400 troops to kill me. And they're only going to get two cards, which would... Where, where are the sets at? Two cards are worth like a little less than 100 troops. So, it'll be interesting to see which direction this goes. Because that's a big loss for them to take. I think the better play is for them to uh, run after red. We can red a little bit here. I think that's potentially a direction that we want to go. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> and I just get to add my eight troops here for the rest of the game. <laughs> ah. Yeah, white, white attacking red. This game's going to go a long time, huh? Both of them really want the first place. See, like, if I'm white, has white gotten any bounties yet? No. So if you're white, isn't it worth it to just get the bounty? Then, at a minimum, you get second with one bounty. That's 15 points. Pretty good, right? Or no, that's 13 points, sorry. Versus you like stall out this whole time. I guess they know that they're guaranteed to get my bounty. So they they punch red. Red starts with 16 troops. So red red getting dwindled down here. Question is, does white kill red first or me first? I will be sitting on two cards the rest of the game. I probably shouldn't have taken that card there. Should have just let myself be trapped with two cards because that makes me less appealing to kill. Yeah, I was I wasn't thinking of that from from the right perspective of hey, try to squeeze out those extra 2 points to uh help me because at this point I should get third with two bounties. It's 14 points. That secures me getting to the next round, I would think. Um but I guess the points carry over, right? So having more uh, what is going on? Okay, what is happening here? We're doing this, we're doing next, next, and turn, and turn. White only getting 23 troops, so white getting weakened by red as well. White getting weakened as well. So yeah, so if, if I'm able to uh, come in second in this game, it does buy me a lot more... Uh, it buys me a lot more, well, it buys me two more points, which will help me not have to do as well in the third round to advance to the fourth round, right? Um, so, we'll see. We'll see. White's attacking a lot. Good. White's attacking red a lot. I don't know if white has a cap that is, uh, <sighs> that's able to be active if whoever holds this cap is in a good spot. That was the only portal cap this game. So it's kind of something you want to be holding. We'll see if, I mean, if white doesn't open, where was red's cap? Red's cap is here, right? So what white can do is they can guard this position, this position, right? So they 
big stack here, big stack here, big stack here, and big stack here. They can prevent red from holding any bonuses and keep their stack locked, right? And the only chance red would have to break that was would be to unlock their cap stack, which then leaves them vulnerable to white which if they're coming from here, they could attack via this, take the cap, finish the game. So that, I think that's how I would play it if I was white. Doesn't mean it's the right way to play it. Doesn't mean it's the right way to play it. Um, okay, they go for the kill on me, right? Good game, good luck, well played. All right. All right, hockey hog to third, bounty to, yeah, I want to spectate. Let's spectate the end of this. Shoot DB. All right. I think it's interesting I spectate. I get to view it from white's perspective when I spectate. Ooh, I think red wins this game. I think red wins the game. That kill lost uh, lost white so much material. But we'll see. No, don't close yourself off. Our... Oh, no. Okay. Attack a bunch. Keep going. Oh, I see from the perspective of whoever's in first. Hit it. Hit the cap. No, they don't. They open that, though. They see, hey, you're actually reasonably weak now. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So what do you do here if you're red? Because white has a set. Oh, yeah, they have that cab hiding over there, too. That's right. But these guys gotta know, so now they both know where all the caps are, right? So to win this game, you have to, you have to not um, open somebody else's cap, right? So if you're white right now, you don't actually want to open any of the portals. Let him maintain yeah see you want to hit everything other than portals and you want to hit this stuff and you know what that means he's gonna hold these bonuses I guess right but his caps won't be open I don't know it's tough it's tough to get around this map without opening portals so I'm not really sure not sure the best way to play it. I don't. Uh, these guys, I don't think are either, right? Like, to be fair, I'm not the only idiot in the room. <laughs> but I, I think it's it's an interesting end game scenario here. It's like, how do you, how do you win? How do you win this game? You've got to like somebody's just got to take a risk and go for it and ultimately like ultimately I think red's in the best shape to do that it's just you need so many dang troops right so this will be interesting red's going to take back essentially the whole but they can't hit fast enough is the problem so you gotta just throw your troops at a cap at some point here. If you're if you're red, you just gotta throw your troops at a cap. Throw your troops at another cap. I think that's I think that's your only hope, because you can't hit hard enough to take the whole board. They leave the stack there. So they now leave this cap open. That's a great opportunity for white. White needs to snag that, because that's the best cap, right? So if white can take that cap and fortify all of their troops onto that. 
give red everything else. Put all your troops on that cap. I think that's the position that you can win the game from. But it's just going to take a long time. It takes a long time. Wow. I did not think that these settings were going to... I guess it's like, it's it's fine. It was it was good in the beginning when, you know, the kills were good. When the sets got to like 50 to 80 range, the kills were not profitable, but they were worthwhile to get the bounty points. But now it's like, man, I mean, both of these guys are playing for first, right? And that's fair, because it's actually a five point, because neither of them have a bounty. So the winner of this, it's it's potentially a five point swing in one way or another. And I think both of these guys, um, let's see. Let's see what we've got for standings actually. So I think both of these guys need all the points they can get. Right there, oh, that's not the right, okay, you're fine then. Oh, red took that, oh nice, red took that cap, great. Great, great. They're close to the other ones. Oh, white took that cap. Because what we got right now, so we've got uh, Martin. Is this one? No, you're Freddy. And you're DB. Why? <laughs> Who's Martin? Oh, Martin was the host of the game. All right, Freddy had nine points after round one. And they've gotten zero bounties so far. So, you know, they're... They're sitting here thinking they need a 15-point game. That's that's first with a bounty. A 15-point game for Freddy here gets them 24 points total, which is probably just good enough to make it to the next round. But if they come in second, they just get a 10-point game, and that's 19 points total. I don't think that's good enough for the second round. We'll find out. But uh, I don't know, cause cause the 300 mark was like uh, 13 or 14. I think it was 13 points after the first round. So if you just double that and say, hey, after the second round, the 300 mark's gonna be 26 points. That's kind of what you might need. But it might be a little less because the nature of caps, there's gonna be some points left on the table because people will win the games without necessarily getting bounties. Um, and the same will be the case for the next round which is a 70% game which I've never played a 70% game in my life but um, I would think there's a chance that we end up with some wins where one person gets first everybody else gets last and there's no bounties or maybe like one or two bounties um, anyway what was I saying yeah so Freddy really is sitting here saying I need first with a bounty to have a shot at this so that's why they're playing it like it's the last game of their life. DB, I honestly, they weren't originally in our game, so I'm not sure. Okay, I found them. They were supposed to play on Saturday, um, but they got pulled in to our game because uh, somebody was a no-show, and I guess they couldn't play Saturday. So what do we got? They had 20 points in round one. So DB could take second with a bounty and get 13 points and they'd be fine because they got my bounty so they're sitting at three points right now basically this last the, the rest of this game essentially decides do they get 13 or do they get they could get 15 if they don't get the bounty on red or they could get 18 if they get first with both bounties. 18 would put them at 38 points total, which is actually very close to the top of the leaderboard right now. So that'd be very good for them. And I got 14 points, so I'm sitting at 35 points, which right now would be in 11th or 12th place. It's reasonable, right, it's reasonable. I'll take it. for playing sort of this game mode that I'm not the most uh, familiar with and comfortable with. But yeah, so that's what, so ah, so really, but you know, it's, it's fair for DB to be playing it to win because that's the way to play. 
and that's the fairest way to play. You don't want to let one competitor have an easier time at it than another. Um, just because you're sitting here going, oh, I don't need to win this game. But uh, man, is it just dragon, right? But I, th I think, I think Red's got the troop advantage. It's just we've gotta, we've gotta go. Red, Red needs to break this. Honestly, next time they have cars, they should just add here, slam this cap. <laughs> but we'll see. I think that I think honestly, I think the way to win this is you have to actually leave like 25, 50 troops on caps. I think that's the play. Um, because then it entices the other person to take them. And then they lose a lot of troops to take those. That's my thought, anyway. <laughs> hmm. Man, this is, uh... This is taking a while. I'm going to start emoting. I'm going to start emoting. <laughs> ah. These guys are going to be here all night. I think at 5.30 I call it quits. Because I don't need to stand here and watch the rest of this game. I'm really interested to see the result. But uh, I don't want to sit here and for the rest of the night and watch this game. That's why I played it the way I did. Because I, I knew the game could just sit there and stalemate. Me, red, and white. Me, red, and white. Um, oh, no. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's not the right move. Okay. Oh, he's going to do it. Okay, no, he's not. Good. Red, like, forces a lot of splits that don't necessarily need to happen. And, I mean, it's working for him, right? He might get first. So, good for him. I just find it interesting. Right, so, like, they're going to do that. They're going to split. Yeah. Right? They just, like, they... Oh, yeah. Grab that. I think Red's on a phone. That's like a phone move, big thumbed it type thing. You gotta have time to fortify, buddy. Oh, he's not gonna have time to fortify. Oh, he's leaving a stack. Oh, no. Oh, 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 does white have cards? They gotta slam that. Oh, they're not open to it. Yeah, they are. They are open to it. Oh, but they didn't do Oh, no. Add it here. Don't add it there, add it here. Yes. Good. 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 Come on, hit him. Victory! <laughs> oh, I guess I'm I guess I'm allowed to spectate because they know everything, right? They know all of their territories and they know every Oh no, they don't necessarily know everybody else's. Ah, you bummer. You trapped those. You trapped those troops. Okay. Put them all onto your portal cap, right? Now you should put them all here. Let them have that other one. You don't need that other one anymore. Oh boy. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Is Red Sam done with this game? No, I don't think they do. I think they go slam this cap, though, don't they? I think they hit it. Yup. Hit that too, why not? You're already there, right? You're already there. Now you've secured that bonus for the rest of the game. We've basically just traded places. Except Red has lost a ton of troops. White wins. No way White doesn't win here. Yeah, because cause Red's got yeah red doesn't have enough troops white can uh 
moves it all back to that cap, or he's going to split. That's even worse. Don't split it. Okay, he splits it. Yeah, so white can... How many troops did white just get? 23. Okay, not that many. But, ah, oh, they're going up around that way. Interesting. Okay, and they're going to go that away. They see the 50. They don't fall for the bait. They don't fall for the bait of the 50. They going for a cap run? I don't think they can get the cap run. I think they need cards. Uh, hit it. Hit it. Come on. Hit it. No. Hit the stack. Hit the cap. Come on. What are you slow rolling a one for? <laughs> uh, they did all of that to get to a different portal. That's interesting. You were already at a portal. They're just breaking all the bonuses. Come on, don't fortify back in time. Don't fortify back. Oh. Oh, they were on a cap, so it didn't matter if they fortified back. Okay. Let's. Boogie. I did have a great cap position to start this game. And if I hadn't gone for bounties, I think I probably, uh. I probably could have won if I wanted to play a three-hour game, but, um, yeah, that's a good cap. You want to keep that red. You want to keep that for the rest of the game. But I don't know. They're so weak, right? If, if white has a set, I think they got to go for it. If white has a set, ah, don't open him to you. Okay, breaks all of it. Right, if white has a set. Oh, you're splitting everything. You're just gonna leave a bunch of weak capitals instead of one strong one. I don't know if that's the play. White doesn't have a set. Do they take this one back? Nope, they don't. Do they take this one? White's not hitting caps. Maybe they do. They do hit that one. Okay. They can't hit this one because they're not open to it. Um, did they glitch? Or they're deciding on a split? Okay. Deciding on a split. And... Okay. Good. Okay. Good. Just keep hitting. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is insane. Come on. Have a set. Go after them. Hit them hard. So these guys are eventually maybe going to dwindle themselves down enough that um, a kill becomes profitable, right? Yeah, see if I... I don't blame red for playing the way they're playing, right? Because they're they're thinking this is the their tournaments on the line. So if I was in their position, I can't say I'd do anything differently. I'd I'd be war of attritioning this, right? If I was in white's position, I can say I'd probably just go for a cap run, and then if I fail, I would just fail, and they would win. Because white's in great shape, they don't they don't need the win in this game to uh, to advance, right? They already had 20 points. They're in a position here where they get 13, even if they come in second. Um, so let's see. Do they take? They hit that. They go this away. gonna take this guy. I want them to take this cap. You can take this one too. Take that. Hit, 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 hit. Clear out this. They're gonna leave some behind on that. Interesting. They're gonna leave
leave some behind on that. Hit the cap. No, nope, they don't. Dang it. Dang it. Come on, guys. Let's end this puppy. Let's end this puppy. Alright, I think I'm going to call it. Currently, I'm just reporting in Discord. Currently at DB and at... Um, what's this guy's name? He's FG... FJPR in a two-player endgame that seems like it might take a while. Been 20 minutes or so already. Um, guys, please report in this chat. Please report in this chat who wins and if the winner gets the final bounty or if they just get the cap win with no bounty. Uh, actually, maybe, maybe White finishes this? I don't know. Come on. Come on. Hit him harder. Hit him harder. Hit it. I wish I could see troop counts. That's what I wish I could see. Uh. Yeah. Hmm. Just hitting more. Just hitting more. Doesn't fortify in time. Doesn't fortify in time. Did he leave that big stack there? Did he not hit the fortify button in time? Oh my gosh. Come on. Oh no, he did. Alright, I am heading out. I'm going to end the video there and we'll maybe uh, report back with the winner at some point. I'll try to drop it in the comment of the video here. Well, thanks for joining me everyone and have a great day.